Jesus is Lord of this day. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 13 and 14 Paul did many things. He was a wise teacher. His many letters are full of instructive lessons, setting forth correct principles. He worked with his hands, for he was a tent maker, and in this way earned his daily bread. He carried a heavy burden for the churches. He strove most earnestly to present their errors before them, that they might correct them, and not be deceived and led away from God. He was always seeking to help them in their difficulties, and yet he declares, One thing I do. The responsibilities of his life were many, yet he kept always before him this one thing. The constant sense of the presence of God constrained him to keep his eye ever looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of his faith. The great purpose that constrained Paul to press forward in the face of hardship and difficulty should lead every Christian worker to consecrate themselves wholly to God's service. Worldly attractions will be presented to draw their attention from the Savior, but they are to press on toward the goal, showing to the world, to angels, and to men that the hope of seeing the face of God is worth all the effort and sacrifice that the attainment of this hope demands. The lowliest disciple of Christ may become an inhabitant of heaven, an heir of God to an inheritance incorruptible, which fades not away. Oh, that every one might make choice of the heavenly gift, become an heir of God to the inheritance whose title is secure from any destroyer, world without end. Oh, choose not the world, but choose the better inheritance. Press, urge your way toward the mark for the prize of your high calling in Christ Jesus. Soon, we shall witness the coronation of our King. Those who on this earth have fought the good fight of faith will shine forth with the Redeemer's glory in the kingdom of God. Praise Jesus.